Good evening. Welcome to Hopewell's uh, Kindergarten Information Night 2021. Uh, this evening, uh, we're going to be sharing a lot of information with you. Um, and uh, as we go through all of the information, we just want to let you know, first of all, don't worry about capturing everything. This will be posted uh, for your reference uh, moving forward. Uh, my name is Martina Sherwood, Principal at Hopewell Avenue Public School. My name is Christopher Worley. I'm the Vice Principal at Hopewell Avenue Public School. Welcome. Before we begin also, we just want to say if there's one thing you are going to take away from this evening is uh, we are going to love having your children uh, at Hopewell Avenue Public School. We are going to be your partners in their education and uh, we will uh, keep them safe and help them reach their fullest potential in the journey uh, through their world of education at Hopewell. So we'll begin. Okay, we're going to begin uh, by acknowledging the Algonquin Territory. We acknowledge that our learning is taking place on unceded and unsurrendered Algonquin Territory. We thank the Algonquin Nation for hosting us and recognizing their endurance, enduring presence on this land. So what will you learn about today? So today we'll be discussing uh, information to help you better understand the OCDSB, our school, our school community, and kindergarten as you plan for and navigate your child's schooling experience. To start us off, we're gonna have a message from our director, Camille Williams-Taylor. Welcome to kindergarten and welcome to the OCDSB. We know that this will be the start of a wonderful educational journey for your child. Our kindergarten teachers and early childhood educators look forward to working with you and your child as we embark together on an exciting two years of learning. Our full day kindergarten program is the launch point to an array of programs that the OCDSB offers. During your child's school presentation, you will hear about the opportunities that your child will have to develop their French language skills. In the kindergarten program, our students receive exposure to both French and English language programming in a 50-50 format. They will have the opportunity to develop a strong foundation in both official languages as they begin their educational journey. You will also hear about the early French immersion program where starting in grade one, your child will spend the majority of their day being taught in the French language. Students can also enter French immersion in grade four in the middle French immersion program where two thirds of their day is taught in the French language. In the English and alternative programs, students receive instruction in English as well as 200 minutes per week of French instruction. This is called Core French. All of these programs are available to all of our students. It is your choice. We look forward to welcoming you to our schools and don't hesitate to reach out to your child's designated school to learn more. The first day of school in kindergarten is the first day of a wonderful road ahead. Our OCDSB team is eager to welcome you, your child and your family to our learning community. Okay, and so thank you very much uh, to Camille for her message. Um, so again, it's important to uh, try to get involved um, in your child's education. Parents are invited to participate in the day-to-day -day activity of school life by volunteering at their child's school and making a positive difference in your child's education. Um, we're asked, you are asked to, or invited to join your school council and find out more about the many activities planned um, at Hopewell. Um, this is all, of course, uh, when the school is open to the community uh, during the pandemic. Um, the school is not open to uh, parents, only to students and staff members, uh, but in a quote-unquote normal year, uh, parent involvement is always encouraged. 
And even so, um, there still are opportunities where parents can get involved in their child education. There is a place for every student at Hopewell. Uh, students are why we were, are here uh, to serve every student. Each one must be seen, heard, and know they matter within our school community. Uh, the OCDSB has a strong commitment to human rights, equity, and inclusion. And we continue to work together to dismantle barriers to learning and help all students achieve success. That is our ongoing commitment and focus. With a focus on human rights and equitable practice, the OCDSB is committed to creating a welcome and safe space for all of our students. We strive to meet the indiv individual needs of all of our students. Our goal is to meet the unique needs of every child. We have a learning support services team all, that's always available to, in schools to support our early learners, learning support teachers, psychologists, social workers, speech and language pathologists, as well as educational assistants dedicate, dedicated to our kindergarten classes are some of the special, specialists available for our schools. If you identify as First Nations, Métis, or Inuit, you may have access to additional supports for your child. The OCDSB has an Indigenous education learning team who you can reach out to for support. The team consists of two instructional coaches, two student support coordinators, a graduation coach, and a system vice principal. At registration, you can complete the voluntary confidential self-identification. Visit the OCDSB website for details on resources and support or email the Vice Principal of Indigenous Education for more information. Her contact uh, information is noted on this slide. So our community of character and our exit outcomes. So all schools in the OC OCDSB are grounded in the community of character and exit outcomes. This is the umbrella over everything that we do. The Ottawa Carlton Distance School Board's A Community of Character is a set of attributes that were discussed and chosen by a myriad of stakeholders. The purpose of these attributes is to provide a standard of behavior against which all individuals in the OCSB hold themselves accountable. Our character attributes are the stepping stones to building our community of character. As at the Ottawa Carlton District School Board, our vision of student success goes beyond the classroom. Our goal is to prepare students to be successful in life. The OCSB Exit Outcomes identify five characters and five skills that we are trying to develop in every student. This work begins in kindergarten, and we hope that by the time students graduate, they'll move confidently into the world, equipped with a strong academic foundation and the learning skills they need to navigate future pathways, whether that is work, apprenticeship, college, university, or community living. So welcome we have to a wonderful our... school team at Hopewell. Um, we'd like you to, uh, um, uh, you will have an opportunity to meet the team at the end of this uh, presentation through a video. Um, we ha currently have five uh, kindergarten classes uh, comprised of a teacher and an ECE, and the uh, team members are noted on this slide. Um, and they are excited to welcome our kindergarten children every day, and they will uh, be excited to meet your children in 20, September 2021. Hopewell Avenue Public School has a rich history. Uh, it was opened in 1910. Uh, and it does have a tradition of excellence in education. It has undergone a few changes over the years. We had a renovation in uh, 1940. Uh, and also there was a recent addition uh, in the late 1990s. So it is a large school located in old Ottawa South. We are a uh, kindergarten to grade eight school, triple track. So we offer currently the English program, early French immersion, and Middle French Immersion. We are also home to a specialized program class, a behavior intervention program. Enrollment is approximately 850 students. We have a dedicated teaching team and we have a very involved parent community. Uh, we also have a very vibrant school council that meets once a month and they will be happy to welcome you into the school and uh, share ways that you can become involved in your child's uh, 
uh, school world. There are also access to many lunch programs, which are on hold at this time, but uh, we look forward to reviving those uh, as we move forward. As you uh, start to the kindergarten journey with your child, uh, you are our partners in education. All children's learning and development occurs in context of relationships with other children, parents and family members, educators and the broader environment. We talk about Hopewell, we talk about Hopewell as a school community and that's a community that embraces the child, the parent, families, and we work together to do the very best we can to support your child's learning. The kindergarten program is a play-based inquiry learning program and it has a team approach. It's a two-year program. All of our kindergarten classes are combined grade classes, which means that year one students and year two students, historically referred to as junior kindergarten and senior kindergarten, are grouped together. All classes engage in learning based on the kindergarten program that was launched in 2016 with 50% of their instructional time in English and 50% in French. If your child will be four or five years old by December 31st, 2021, they can start kindergarten in September. The program aims to provide every child with the support they need in order to develop self-regulation, health, well-being, and sense of security, emotional and social competence, curiosity and confidence in learning, and respect for diversity of their peers. Play-based learning is the foundation of this program. Children are full of natural curiosity and they explore this curiosity through play. In our kindergarten program, teachers and early childhood educators structure play to create learning moments. At Hopewell, we have seen veterinary clinics open, dentist office, offices, cardboard boxes turned into very intricate spaceships. And from there, students will learn how to work with numbers, uh, write, uh, um, programs and uh, convey their, their uh, communicate in writing and, and do all those wonderful things that they, they do as they learn in the moment and uh, in a play-based environment. It's wonderful to see. We have a team approach here at kindergarten at Hopewell. Each kindergarten class is led by a team comprised of a teacher and an early childhood educator. The team works together to plan for and provide meaningful learning opportunities for the children and to create a positive, welcoming and safe learning environment. Uh, we have had uh, a live uh, question document open in the last uh, week or so. And we have had some questions which we will answer uh, throughout this presentation. One of the questions was about class size. On average, classes have 26 students, although depending on enrollment, class sizes can range anywhere from approximately 13 to a maximum of 28. We do have a 300 minute instructional day. Uh, our school day starts at nine o'clock and our school day ends at 3.30. Um, and in that time, there are two 45 minute blocks of nutrition break recess blocks. Students are assessed and evaluated based on their growth in relation to overall program expectations from the four frames of learning in the kindergarten program. Those frames are belonging and contributing, self-regulation and well-being, demonstrating literacy, literacy and mathematics behaviors, and problem solving and innovating. Kindergarten is a 50-50 bilingual program. All of our kindergarten classes incorporate 50% language instruction, French language instruction. This means that children will experience the program equally in French and in English, providing a rich exposure to both of Canada's official languages. Our program is designed for children of all languages. Unlike early French immersion, which begins in grade one, the bilingual kindergarten program is focused on providing our youngest learners with a rich play inquiry based experience, facilit facilitated by both English and French educators. Teachers and ECEs implement the program as laid out in the Ontario curriculum document, the kindergarten program 2016. There are no overall or specific expectations that set fixed outcomes for French language acquisition for the end of the two year program. 
Each child will develop and grow their receptive and expressive communication skills in both language, uh, languages in a way that is unique for them. As just mentioned, there are four frames of the kindergarten program that are noted on this slide. These frames are designed to support an approach that aligns with the way children's learning naturally occurs and that focuses on aspects of learning that are critical to young children's development. The frames reflect the integrated way in which learning occurs during children's play and inquiry in kindergarten. The four frames align with the four foundational conditions needed for children to grow and flourish, belonging, well-being, expression, and engagement. These foundations or ways of being are central to the pedagogy outlined in the early learning resource, How Does Learning Happen? They are conditions that children naturally seek for themselves and they apply regardless of age, ability, culture, language, geography, or setting. To explore these frames more uh, completely, you're encouraged to review and look at the kindergarten document. It can be found on the Ministry of Education website uh, and uh, all the details about all of the frames uh, and specifics are, are outlined there. Assessment, evaluation and reporting. That's often a question we get. How will I know how my child is doing? First of all, before we get into the formal piece, your children's educators will always be available to help you. Uh, we always say communication is the highest priority. Uh, and our message always is if you're wondering about something, if you have a question, if you have a concern, there is no question we are not happy to answer. So please, please, please always feel uh, comfortable to reach out to your child's educators. They want to hear from you. Uh, as we said earlier, we are your partners. We need to hear from you. We need to work together to do the best we can for your child. When we talk about formal reporting, we do have three separate uh, reporting times. Uh, in the fall, there is an initial observation provided uh, to parents, uh, which comes hand in hand with an opportunity to meet with teacher and uh, early childhood educator formally. Then we are followed by a term one communication of learning. That happens uh, usually in February. And then we have a term two communication of learning that is shared in June. Um, we also offer an extended day program. So the OCD uh, operates an extended day program. And this is for students between uh, ages uh, 3.8 years to 12 years of, uh, 12 years of age. Um, this is working in conjunction with the kindergarten program. Uh, extended programs are run either by the OCSB or by a third party provider, uh, which is the scenario here at Hopewell. Um, both types of programs are overseen by the Ottawa Carleton District School Board. Uh, registration for ED, uh, EDP or the extended program is a separate process from kindergarten. So if you'd like to attend your, ch your child to attend the EDP or the extended day program here at Hopewell, uh, you would do so uh, by registering through the Glee Parents Daycare, which runs the before and after school program at our school. Um, the EDP um, is run in the building. It actually takes place on the first floor of the school where they actually use uh, classrooms and they also have a separate uh, area for um, preschool age as well. And some fantastic stuff. The extended program is offered uh, again before and after the regular school day. Um, it is delivered by uh, ECEs or re uh, Registered Early Childhood Educators uh, or Early Learning Assistants. Um, the ratio is generally led by two educators for groups of 30 children. Um, outside of before and after school, they also operate on uh, PA days or PD days, um, selective days over the winter break, uh, as well as March break. Um, there are uh, some programs at certain schools that will also run uh, over the summer summer break as well. Um, those are, uh, again, those are separate registrations. 
And those summer programs are often at the schools where they have the third party daycare, which for example, Hopewell does, uh, does have, and that is run again by the Glee Women's Daycare. Third party operators, um, uh, again, uh, are, are run separately though from the school. So if you do have any additional information about costs and fees associated with that, we do uh, again, encourage you to reach out to the Glee Parents Daycare. Transportation, um, this is something uh, that the school board uh, does offer. Uh, we are associated, um, it, it's, it's not, uh, so transportation is offered to students in kindergarten. Um, more information can be found through the ottawaschoolbus.ca website. Um, they're also on Twitter at, and their Twitter handle is schoolbus. Um, they, uh, when you go onto that website, you can find out if your child uh, does qualify uh, in terms of where you're living. If they qualify for transportation, you have to live uh, 0.8 uh, of a kilometer away um, or more in order to qualify for a bus. Otherwise, uh, the child is responsible to uh, walk to and from school. Um, and at that point, um, so the transportation would be taken over by, uh, or be the responsibility of the, the family or the guardians. Transportation is not provided to and from the extended daycare program, only uh, the beginning and end of our school day. How to help your child prepare for kindergarten is a question we get all the time. Um, so some things you can do to prepare your child for kindergarten. Um, ensure your child has ample opportunity to engage in different types of play. Provide daily physical activities to help develop gross and fine motor skills. Talk and listen to your child. Make sure your child's nutritional needs are being met. Help your child with daily routines such as getting dressed, feeding, toileting, cleaning up after activities, self-regulating their active and quiet play times. Uh, we have had questions uh, by, about nap time. We don't have a formal nap time in uh, our kindergarten program. However, um, your child's educators are, are very aware of the, the varying needs of their class and, and they're always watching the children to ensure that they have what they need to uh, be successful in their day. Certainly if they do notice that them some, some quiet time is needed, uh, they will provide that. And yes, if your child happens to fall asleep in class, um, that sometimes does happen. Uh, we will take care to ensure that they're, they're well, uh, well taken care of um, no matter what their needs are. So, so we do uh, respond to the needs of children. We don't have a formal nap time, but we do have quiet time uh, to allow children to kind of calm and, and, and have a nice uh, uh, break in their day if needed. Um, so that, that, uh, that is the answer to the question we've had about naps. Uh, reading to your child is so important, pref uh, uh, preferably daily. Variety of books, variety of languages if you can. Uh, relate the pictures to the story. Um, this, of course, enhances language development and stimulates children's curiosity and imagination. Play with numbers. Uh, we have a really big numeracy focus at our school and in our district. Uh, have fun with numbers. Um, make sure your child can see their house number. What does it mean? Um, uh, you know, count things and uh, um, play games with numbers. So that is encouraged as well. Talk with and listen to your child about daily activities, what they're doing, what are you doing. Strong oral communication skills will become a solid foundation for later academic achievement. And of course, Get them excited about kindergarten. Kindergarten is a great place to be. They're gonna meet new friends. They're going to learn new things. It's an adventure that they should be excited about when they arrive. So all of those things are, are ways you can pre prepare your child uh, for kindergarten. Uh, we also have uh, a wonderful, wonderful resource through all of the uh, Ottawa Public Health um, uh, uh, School Readiness webpage. 
Uh, if you uh, find some time, uh, I, we know our parents are busy, but if you could check out the school readiness webpage, on that webpage, you will find uh, a wealth of information of, ranging from child development, dental health, immunization information, visual health, um, uh, and the list goes on. It, OPH is a great re reference and a resource for us, and we would encourage you to check out uh, all, of the, uh, the, all of the things that they can provide. Uh, Director Williams Taylor shared some information about program options, and I know that went really fast. Uh, so these following slides are just detailing uh, some of the options you can consider as your child moves forward past kindergarten. Um, uh, that time will go very fast, believe it or not. Uh, um, you know, my, ch my uh, son is in high school and my daughter just started first year university, but I actually feel like they were in kindergarten last year. So uh, that time will fly. Um, so uh, there are a variety of program options available to your child after uh, kindergarten. Um, so we have uh, an English with a core French experience uh, from grades one to eight, early French immersion, a middle French immersion program that starts in grade four, and that is currently offered at uh, Hopewell along with early French immersion and the English program. And there's an alternative program uh, uh, as a possible selection. And of course, any program that you select is a parental decision. Certainly we're available for um, uh, if, you, if you'd like some feedback or like to discuss, but ultimately the choice is yours. Um, for the uh, um, uh, French immersion, DELF uh, results, uh, which is the grade 12 French proficiency test, have shown there's no difference in final outcomes for students enrolled in early French immersion and middle French immersion. Um, early French immersion starts in grade one, middle French immersion starts in grade four, uh, however, um, at the end of the day, that pathway uh, comes together in, in high school and there has been no, uh, um, uh, no difference in final outcomes depending on each program and support is available in all the programs. The English program uh, is all at, well, in all of our programs, the following languages are taught. Uh, language, math, science and technology, social studies, uh, history, geography, it becomes in grade seven and eight, health and physical education, the arts, and in the English program, there is a core French experience, which is 200 minutes per week. Uh, and that's usually delivered as a 40 minute a day subject. This allows students, this English program allows students to concentrate on English language skills, and it's available from grade one uh, all the way to grade 12. Uh, it's centered, um, child-centered and stresses proficiency in all subject areas. In, uh, the early French immersion program begins in grade one and it is an 80% French experience and a 20% English experience in grade one. Uh, all subjects in grade one are taught in French with the exception of math. Math is delivered in English and it is a 60 minute um, uh, subject. Math is delivered in English also throughout uh, your child's school career in the OCDSB. So the 60 minute math experience in English will continue from grade one all the way to grade eight. Uh, from grades two to six in the early French immersion program, it becomes a 60% French, 40% French uh, English experience uh, where we add a 60 minute a day uh, English language instruction block. So there's the English language along with the math in English, and then the remaining subjects are in French. In grades seven and eight, it moves to a 50-50 French-English experience. The middle French immersion program begins in grade four, uh, and like the early French immersion and the English program is also offered currently at Hopewell. Students who uh, attend the English program from grades one to three uh, are, have the opportunity to enter the Middle French Immersion Program in grade four. Uh, and of course, they enter the uh, uh, Middle French Immersion Program in grade four, having had a good solid foundation in French, uh, having experienced the core French experience uh, um, a subject 200 minutes a week. Uh, so Middle French Immersion 
also a bilingual program. Uh, it is 66% uh, French and 34% English. Uh, what that really means is, uh, again, the 60 minute math block is delivered in English and there's a 40 minute English language block uh, in that program. So 100 minutes of the 300 minute school day in the middle French immersion program in junior is uh, English language instruction. All other subject areas are French. And in grades seven and eight, like the early French immersion program, uh, it flips to a 50-50 French English experience. We did speak about DELF. It is offered to all students uh, enrolled in grade 12. Uh, it's a, a French proficiency test. Um, in 2018, 2019, it's notable 88% of eligible students who uh, were able to take the DELF participated and there was a 96% success rate uh, across all test levels. Um, so that is something that many of our students who uh, um, do uh, aim to, to do by the end of grade 12 and uh, the outcomes are, are very good. Our district also offers an alternative program. Uh, that is an English language instruction for all subjects other than core French. Um, there are four elementary sites in our city that in our district that offer uh, the alternative program. They are Regina, Lady Evelyn, Riverview and Churchill. There is an intermediate site, Summit Alternative as well. Uh, while the um, uh, Following characteristics are found in many of the programs at the elementary level across a district. Collectively, they form the foundation of the alternative education philosophy, and they include cooperation and teamwork. Uh, those are emphasized instead of competition in all aspects of the school, innovative approaches to teaching and learning through a shared responsibility among staff, students, and parents, balance between student-directed and teacher-directed learning, multi-age groupings, an integrated curriculum approach, a family and community centered school environment, and assessment and evaluation is ongoing using multiple strategies. Those are some of the foundations of the alternative program, but also found in other programs in our district as well. Uh, the Family Reception Center. If you are new to Canada, have a school aged child, and English is not your first language, the OCDSB's Family Reception Center can assist you with enrolling your child in school. The center's staff will provide student assessment and guidance for English language, lear English language learners and their families, and can connect newcomer families with a multicultural liaison officer if needed. You can call 613-239-2416. For assistance, and that number is also available on the board website. The next question that we always get is, how do I register? Registration uh, is happening now. So if your child is ready for kindergarten uh, for September 2021, we're ready for you. So you can uh, register online um, using the uh, OCDSB uh, uh, website link. There is a uh, uh, easy to register online. Um, also notable is there's a student transfer application period. So that means if you are interested in attending a school that is not in your, uh, in the boundary in which you live, uh, you may apply for transfer. Uh, and that is uh, um, a process that uh, is, is detailed on the OCDSB website and the application period for that is uh, February 1st to February 16th. Once you have registered, uh, we will reach out to families with next steps. So don't worry, once you register, uh, that's, that's not it. We have a lot of next steps that will take place. Uh, typically, we invite you to join us in the spring to receive further information about your child's launch into kindergarten. We provide an opportunity for your child to come. Uh, and uh, historically, that's been a watermelon and lemonade experience so that they know what kindergarten might look like, sound like, and they know it's going to be an exciting place to come. 
Uh, of course, this year is exceptional. We're not quite sure what the spring will hold, uh, but whatever it is, please be assured that you will uh, get lots of information from us, uh, lots of details about next steps, and we will support you uh, in the journey forward. Um, so please don't worry about that. We'll communicate with you about our plans to welcome your child to kindergarten um, and uh, uh, as we know more. So that's, uh, please be reassured. Also, if you have questions, and we know our parents have questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. If you're wondering anything, if you think you missed something, call us. We're happy to answer any questions you have. Our office uh, phones are answered. Uh, and you know you can always leave a message, we will get back to you. We know this is an exciting time for you. It's an exciting time for us to welcome new uh, community members into our school, uh, and we are here to help. Our phone number is uh, listed on this slide, 613-239-2348. We have a school website as well, uh, and uh, um, we're always happy to answer your questions. So we're going to end with uh, sharing once again, we cannot wait to welcome your child to Hopewell. Uh, we have put together uh, a little bit of a Hollywood moment for us to share with you about our team in particular. This was put together uh, by one of our fabulous uh, early childhood education, uh, uh, educators, Jamie, Jamie Vance. And uh, we are very excited to share this with you. Uh, so we'll leave you with that. And again, please reach out if you have any questions. Uh, we are here to help and we look forward to meeting everyone uh, as soon as we can uh, and welcoming your children in, in September. Thank you so much. <laughs>